student retention is is very important to us, and I'll give you a couple of examples. At, at the four year level, uh, among Montana's public uh, colleges, our retention rate is seventy five percent. That's a retention of fall to fall, and at the two year college level, uh, the aggregate rate is forty nine percent. So we we feel we can do better. We must do better, and and completion is is also something we're focused on. Uh, the again focusing on all of our four year public institutions. The completion rate is fifty three percent, and among all of our two year institutions in the state, it's twenty percent. And 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 those are based on uh, national figures for the time it takes uh, a student to complete. So we're focusing on a lot of things. Um, one thing in particular uh, that's very important is we know that uh, uh, students must complete their first college-level math course, uh, preferably in the first semester in, in college. Uh, there's a lot of research out there that, that uh, points to the fact that if a student passes their college-level math in their first semester in college, they have a much, much higher chance of being retained and ultimately completing college. So we've been focusing on that, and we've, we've employed a number of strategies uh, uh, from a statewide level. We've looked at uh, uh, the alignment of math with degrees called math pathways so that um, um, every degree, whether it's, it's a uh, uh, science, technology, engineering, math-based degree or not, uh, has has the most appropriate course. Uh, uh, previously, uh, college algebra was the gateway uh, math course for many of our degrees, and 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 now working with faculty across the system, we've we've actually changed that to to a more contemporary math that that uh, provides a broader uh, perspective for students. So one of the things we know is that. Um, if a student is, is placed into uh, remedial math, um, that is that they, they, they're just not ready for college-level math. And if we place them into one or more remedial math courses uh, to prepare them for college-level math, uh, their chances of, of uh, completing the degree are actually pretty slim. In fact, when we looked at the data over the past uh, several years with students, it's actually less than a 10% chance of ever completing a degree. So um, we've rolled up our sleeves. Uh, we've looked at new strategies to uh, to deal with that. And one of the things that's been implemented on, on uh, several different campuses across the Montana University system is a, um, a design called co-requisite design where, where the students who would have uh, originally been placed into a remedial course are, are placed in directly into their first level college course, but given support on the side um, to help them be successful. And it, and it might be, for instance, uh, a course that would normally meet on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays now meets Monday through Friday, and Tuesdays and Thursdays are those support days where the actual faculty member who's teaching the course is there to work with the students and give them the support that they need. We have piloted this, as I mentioned, in, in several institutions across the state, and frankly, the students who who um, uh, were placed into the co-requisite design models are doing as well, if in some cases better, than the students who, who placed math ready. So we're excited about it. We're, we're working with uh, all of our campuses in the state to scale this. Um, everybody has uh, signed on to do that, and, and we're very excited about that. We're, we've spent the day here at the University of Montana with uh, um, our um, uh, colleagues at Complete College America who, who have brought in some amazing expertise uh, to work with the campuses. And, and also, we've been leveraging um, – the uh, expertise of, of the, the wonderful work that's already happening in the Montana University system to share among the different campuses. So the campuses are, are learning about um, different strategies on how to uh, 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 improve uh, student success and retention. And um, some of these strategies are very simple but very effective, uh, such as uh, implementing a, a campaign called 15 to finish, just helping students to understand that 
Um, if they want to finish a four-year degree in four years, they need to take 15 credits a semester, each semester, for four years. But another piece of this is advising. Recognizing advising is so important and um, uh, so that the students do take the, 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 the correct courses that they need to take each semester for four semesters. It sounds very simple, but it often doesn't happen. And, um, and if a student completes a degree in four years, they not only do they save the tuition of going to college and, and all of the expenses associated with going to college for a year, but they can also go into to the workforce uh, um, immediately upon graduation and, and earn income for that. So we, we have spent a lot of time uh, talking about uh, various proactive uh, strategies as well as exploring technology tools for tracking our students and their progress. And uh, what's great about, about this technology is it, it provides um, uh, feedback to the faculty and to the student services staff on, on our campuses so that they can work with students who are uh, perhaps getting off track or in trouble to help get them on track and, and help ensure that, uh, that they complete their, their degrees. So we're, we're very excited about this work. And, uh, um, and, and what's exciting is the campuses are excited. Uh, uh, not only the, the campuses in the Montana University system and the three public community college districts, but we're also so grateful uh, that uh, this representation uh, uh, from all of the tribal colleges in the state of Montana who are, who are also equally excited about this. Well, I'll tell you what, John, I, I, I can imagine that parents of college students are also very excited about the emphasis here because the, the worst thing that can happen is for a, one of their youngsters to spend, you know, two, three, four years in college and not get a degree. Absolutely. And one of the things that's, that's important to, to know is that um, Montana is an aging state. Um, in fact, we are uh, forecasting that 25% of our workforce will retire in the next 10 years. That's, that's roughly 126,000 people. Um, low birth rates mean uh, that the number of students completing high school are going to be um, uh, pretty flat over the next 10 years. And, and frankly, the state is forecasting a gap of, uh, of about 6,500 workers a year for the next 10 years. When you think about it, that's a, that's a potential gap of 65,000 jobs. So, um, well, well, a high school degree is important, and it's vitally important to get your high school degree. Um, the students can no longer truly seek meaningful employment with just a high school degree. They, they need to be looking at that next step in, in life, whether it's a four-year degree, whether it's a, a two-year degree at one of our two-year community colleges or an apprenticeship opportunity. And, and that's something that, that we're really focusing on through this summit is, 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 is involves strategies to help students understand the importance of looking ahead and planning ahead. And that really, that really begins um, as early as middle school. And that's why I'm, I was very happy that we have uh, broad representation from uh, K-12 education at this summit. Very excited about it. And um, 